Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. So glad to have you guys with us. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is my amazing wife, Amanda. Good morning. It's going to be a great day today. Love to hear from you. Hop in the chat. Let us know that you're there. Uh, if there's anything we could be praying with you for, if you have any praise reports, love getting to celebrate together. Yeah. Speaking of praise reports, Bernice said that she feels so much better and it's very much improved. Thank you so much for praying for her. She had COVID last weekend and we're just so grateful that she's doing so much better. Yes, it's so good to see people healed and whole. Uh, I'm excited for this idea, this word. I got to speak on Sunday and just kind of like reflect a little bit more on this idea. Uh, so as we, as we look um, in Matthew 6, Jesus kind of brings up this idea um, about living for beyond the moment and just, just realizing that we're all living to win. It's just a matter of what we're trying to win. Yeah. Uh, some people are trying to win the game in front of them. Some people are trying to win the relationships. Um, there's just so many different areas. And I wanted to look at it. Jesus brings it out spiritually in a couple different spots. But it's true physically too. Like going, there are so many people who are working so hard to have all this money for their family. And they miss their family. Yeah. It's like all, all the movies are made of. <laughs> I feel like there's so many movies out there where you see the man striving so hard to get so many things and his family's like, we just want you. Yeah, and it, it's it's this thing. And I, I watch so many people trying to win arguments only to lose the relationship. Yeah, if you're right, but you're alone, was it worth it? Yeah, and there, somehow there's this thought that if I'm right, it's supposed to like strengthen the relationship. But when we do it wrong, we ruin the relationship over it. Yeah. Um, it's so sad and seeing people um, who want to be feared, who want to have control only to find themselves alone. Yeah. Um, and it's just so easy to look and go, okay, well, what, what am I trying to win? And I am the kind of person, if you were to ask me, like, what do you want to win? They'd be like, everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, no, but it, it, it's, it's, it, it, well, obviously I want to win everything, but here's the problem. If I try to win everything, I'm going to lose it. Because I can't take on every arena simultaneously. Yeah. I have to decide what matters most. And I love it. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus goes through and he says, um, it, here he says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Yeah. And he goes through these different areas where so often we can get caught up in these different arenas and these different things of going, well, this matters in my life, so I need to pursue this. I need to chase this. And he goes, pursue me first. And if you put me first, then the other things will begin to fall into place. And it's, it's so, such a big deal. And going, hey, if I can seek him first and go, God, what does it look like to seek you first at work? What's it look like to seek you first in marriage? Yeah. It changes things. And I, I want to invite you to take a look and go, well, what am I playing to win? Which things matter? And I think that's one of the, the great questions of going, right, in the end, does this really matter? Yeah. Does it matter if I have designer name clothes? Does it matter how many zeros are in the bank account? Does it matter um, how many years old my car is? Does right. it you know, all of these different things and going, yes, and relationships matter. But even there, if you have a giant funeral and go to hell. Yeah. Relationship <laughs> with God above all else matters more than anything. And everything else needs to flow from that. Absolutely. And I, I love here, Jesus talks about it in Matthew chapter 6. He says, don't lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys, where thieves do not break in and steal. And just puts it in perspective that everything that we have now is temporal. Everything that we have now is going to come to an end. And he goes, make your focus and live your life for the things that are eternal. Yeah. Um, and I, it just, it just makes me excited, but it's so easy to get caught up in living for now. Right now screams so loud. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Our desires scream so loud. 
but we have to go, okay, is this the one that matters? Right. Is this the relationship that I want to matter? If this is the one I want to put my time and effort into, yeah. am I putting my time and effort into it or just for it? Because sometimes, like with our family, with the kids, it's easy to try to do things for them yeah. and to miss them. Yeah. I can spend all my time just cleaning the house and totally miss the opportunity to actually invest time into my kids and build that relationship with them. Yeah, and all these different areas that we can work on things and forget to actually experience them. Yeah. And I want to invite you to take a look and go, all right, are there areas that I am missing it? I may be winning, but am I winning the wrong game? Am I really winning the game I want to win? All right, well, that's our, my re encouragement this morning. Let's get into our confessions. So repeat these after me out loud, okay? I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. The same power. The same power. That raised Christ from the dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Lives in me. Lives in me. I am more than a conqueror through him. I am more than a conqueror through him. God is my healer and redeemer. God is my healer and redeemer. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful. My prayers are powerful. And effective. And effective. God, I thank you that we can have powerful and effective prayers. That you would give us eyes to see what matters. That we could fix our eyes on you. That we could live for eternity. And God, that we could make choices that will last. God, that we could put the right things first. And that you would help us to prioritize after that. So that we can win the things that really matter. We ask that you have your way in every part of our life. That your kingdom would come and your will be done. That we would see relationships restored. Bodies healed. Hearts and emotions made new and made whole. And God, we ask that you would be honored in and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Be blessed, and we'll see you then.